Hey, welcome back to the Bay Cave. All right, so um, here we go again. Got another project. I'm just stacking up these projects now. Really, I'm just stacking up these projects. Too many deals to pass up. So, stacking up the projects. I need to start getting these projects out. But I got my niece, her friend, and her mom's coming. AKA my sister in law. They're coming and uh, they'll be here in a few days. So, I'm going to get a couple projects for them to ride. So, I'm out on the way to. Yeah, you guessed it. Get another project. Um, it's a little two seater go kart. It has a motor. Um, you said it doesn't run. Doesn't look too bad. See, it looks good. Um, doesn't have a chain. I don't know if it's a one wheel pill or two. Looks like it might be a one wheel pill. But I'm going to get it anyway. Because I'm only getting it for. I'm getting it for a really good price. And I should be able to double my money without having to really put that much money into it. I know I think I have a chain laying around so I'll use that and get this motor running probably tonight because I'm working I'm working me and my wife we've been busy and been partying trying to let her hair loose because uh, we were so tired from working so just chill for a little bit got her energy back she's working at, a, at home right now I'm on my way out to get another go-kart it's Father's Day so happy Father's Day to everyone and um, I'm about to hit this highway, so I need to focus on the road. But I'll record once I pick it up. All right, let's go for a ride. Okay, it's a little loud, but all right, so I got the car. I didn't want to film at the guy's uh, house because he had a lot of projects there and I didn't want to uh, have people attempted to uh, go up to his house and take stuff. I mean, not saying that y'all would, but there's people that would. But anyway, um, I got the car and I bought a motor. But the motor is still on one of his cars. So that motor I can actually use to put on another car because the motor that I'm gonna put on this one is gonna be a small one. And it's gonna be a quick flip. I got a motor that'll work. So, but what I'm doing now is that the guy on another car that I'm getting, I was gonna get try to get it in the morning tomorrow. But he said, if I come right now, I can come and get it. So um, I'm about to drop this cart off. It's a little two-seater, as you can see. It looks like the cart I had before. Baby cart. But one wheel pill, like I thought it was going to be. And um, it needs a lot of work. Like, it's really rusted, really bad. But I have a floor for it already. Um, sand it. I mean, I'm going to cut it. Grind it down. Sand it. Paint it. Put it back together. Got some wheels for it already too. So, um, pretty much this thing should be done by the time uh, my nieces get here. You know, and they'll have something to scoot around on a little yard cart. But well, we got some other cars for them to ride too. But this will be a quick one. I throw together and cool. But I'm almost tempted to throw a. Um, I'm almost tempted to throw a live axle on it because I really don't like to sell one wheel pills. Like now I have three of them, two or three of them. I'll say three of them, and no bueno. But I'm about to go and pick one up. It's a dingo. You know how I do with them dingoes. I always, I always put my little special touch on it. So um, get back here, drop this one off, and then head out. All right, let me focus on this road. So, of course, my plan is being affected by the rain. I don't know what's up with Florida, man. It's been raining its ass off these last few weeks. Well, uh, I guess week. But still, this is crazy. Um, got to figure something out. But I'm going to get a little wet because I got to make things happen. Come on. Try not to record you. But yeah, it's raining and I got my phone because the guy in front of me, I don't know if he thought I was recording or not, but he was watching me, so uh yeah, that's what it is. Let's 
see what happens. I'm trying to record me taking this thing out. All right, so here it is. All right, so here it is. I can't tell if y'all can see it or not, but it's the Thunder Cart. So it's the Thunder Cart project. One wheel pill, but I need to pull this thing out before it starts raining. I'm taking this long ride. This is Florida. See, Florida has cows. Florida has cows. So it's not all beaches and baby wipes or baby oil, whatever you want to say, but it has cows. So I'm actually picking up the second vehicle. Watch them rather be well. Picking up the second vehicle that I'm gonna build this week. And um it's like an hour away. So uh, I told the guy I wanted to get in the morning. He said uh, you get it now or you wait until tomorrow night, which is the same ordeal. Like I'm gonna have to drive this at night. I wanted to go during the day, so I right, forget it, I'll just come down. So I dropped the other car off and now I'm on my way there. I'm about halfway there. But 60, man, it's like the boringest drive. I mean, the plus about it is that you can do like 80 miles an hour and the cops won't pull you over. The down part about it is this. You got one lane, single lane is next to it. It's like the westbound lane is right there too. So you, very dangerous to me, I think it is. So I do about 70, it's rather be well. Do about 70 and Cruise along, no one said if I know. But I give you some pics and videos of the um, other car. It's like black and purple. It looks like it's in decent shape. Way better than the one I just picked up. So it costs a little bit more. I don't care. But I'm buying it for my nieces to ride. And once they leave, I'm going to sell it. So stay tuned. Okay, so it's the next day. And um. I'm basically out here trying to figure out what parts I need, but I just wanted to show the carts before I get started. They're not that bad. This one I didn't get to see that well. It was a little dark, but it looks like it's not that bad of a bad of shape, but let me show you. All right, so here they are. Excuse the mess. I'm about to build all this crap back up. Got that cart, that bike, that bike. This cart. All right, so these are the two that I bought yesterday. Um, and these two, I'm going to build up pretty quickly because this one really doesn't need anything. I just want to see. It needed a cable, which looks like it doesn't. But it does. So, we replace that cable. Looks like it's pretty easy to do. I think I didn't remove it at all. But the tires, I gotta test to see if they need air. But well, I ordered the cable that long before, so I'm just finding that length. We order it. This one. <laughs> Alright, so basically they both need <laughs> new cables. This one. The floor isn't that bad. It's soft though, so I'm gonna replace that. We do the seats. This is a Thunder Car, and this is well, it's a Carter. Easy work, but everything works on this except uh, it just needs a motor. So throw a motor on it, and should be good to go. But I had to take off the um, that bug. I have to take the roll cage off and get in the Jeep. But I think I'm going to leave it as is. Maybe I'll touch up the top with the black. I don't know if I can find that color purple. But I'm going to do the wheels. Black. Looks like I may need to replace one wheel because I can see the inner tube coming out. Oh, it's one wheel that's messed up. But yeah, looks like I need to replace the wheel. That's easy work. I don't even know what size that wheel is. But, yeah. I mean, it's holding air, so as long as it holds air, I'm fine with that. But yeah, let me get on the Amazon and do my thing. 
I'll get back to this. Hey, good morning, YouTube. This is Bacon from the Bake Man Cave, and this video was actually, it wasn't intended to be a video. I just end up recording stuff because um, that's what I should be doing, so that's what I end up doing. So uh, in this video, I'll be painting some of my rims. I'm doing the seats and setting up the engine to be installed. Um, short, quick video, but like I said, it wasn't intended to be a video. I just started recording and that's what happened. So enjoy the video and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks. All right, so working on this car right here. It's like a whole nother day. I'm gonna have to make this into an event. I bought these today. I paid like 75 bucks for four sets. So I got two for the rear of this and two for another one. So I just have more extra shit, but I'm about to paint these black. Like these are the oil wheels right here. I'm paint these black. I don't know if I'm gonna tape around it. I just paint it and say fuck it. It's gonna get dirty anyway. Who mm -hmm. cares, right? I don't know, maybe I will. But I'm about to paint these and then put these on here and put the roll cage on because I just bought some hardware for it. I guess it's in there. I don't know where the hell I put it. But somewhere. No, it's still in the back of the Jeep. And this will be done. It'll just need a motor. We got the brake sticks. See, they're still working. Yep. Brake's still working. See it moving, but there and there, dual road brakes. So I got to put a big motor on it. All right, so let me get the painting. All right, so I just did the first coat. As you can see, it looks like crap, especially that one because it's shit. All right, I just finished the first coat. See, it looks like crap. Didn't clean the rims that well, but it'll come together on the second and third coat. And I'll flip it over and do the back side. I ain't gonna tape the back side of the wheel. This can's almost out. All right, so as you can see, so as you can see, I have the back wheels on, even though I need to replace this one over here because it's bald, but I expect it to be bald anyway, so I'm going to replace it, so that's why I got it on there. Let me get, um, I might just put these tires on here, on there, because I might replace the front, you know, because they're the same rim, kind of. Or I'm gonna find out, but I got the hubs on the front here because the uh, rims are the inner tubes are bad, tires aren't that bad. I mean, they're bald, but they're not bad. So I'm gonna just see what I have in the garage and um, go from there. So, but now I'm going to get into the seat because I need to finish the seat and then I'm getting to the motor. Cause it's about the rain. I was gonna do all that today. It's about the rain. That's why I didn't really get all the footage of me painting the rims and putting them on because I was trying to hurry up before it started the rain. But um, it looks good. I like it so far. Even though it's one wheel pill, not a fan of one wheel pills. It's a kid's cart, so as soon as I get done with it, um, probably have the neighbor's uh, daughter's uh, test drive it for me, and then I will put this on market. And on to the next one. If I had a space, I'd do one wheel pillow show out, showdown or whatever. Because here's the other one right here laying on the side. Just needs a motor on it. Might paint it. I don't know. It's not bad. It just looks rough. So, I mean, I might throw a can, a, I don't know, a thing of white on it. I might make that one black. Cause this one's white, that black and white, and this one's white and black. Since the wheels on it, it's already white, so I won't have to worry about painting them. Mm -hmm. We'll see. All right, but let's get into the seat. All right, I know y'all seen me do this multiple times before. So what I'm gonna do is 
Actually, I don't know if I've ever done this in real time. I don't know if I want to do it right now in real time because my electricity is about to go out because it is raining. It's behind off out there. I really don't want to do this in the dark, which I can still record because my I'm responsible enough to uh, charge my battery. Let's see. Ouch. That's not big enough. Yeah. I have to cut this like weird. So what I'm gonna have to do is turn it sideways, measure it. And cut it twice the length, cause I'm gonna just use double the uh... See, that's why I need more space. I don't need this quite yet, so I'm gonna move this out the way. I still have to go inside because my wife stole my scissors. So what I'm gonna do is just cut it right here. Can't even see. What I'm gonna do is just cut it right here, straight across, and then do double, and flip it in half, put it on top, and that'll be that. So let me do that real quick. And basically what I do afterwards is I take the thing, I overlap it by this much, cut it, and then staple it. So I'm gonna go ahead and do this in real time because I hate explaining what I'm doing. So I'm gonna go ahead and do this in fast forward mode. But real quick, the tool, only tools you need for this is actually, well, for the seat itself, it's just um, scissors and a, one of them little cool power staplers. It's not power, but you know what I mean. Um, to install it to the frame. These are the bolt screws I will be using are similar to the ones I took out. So I'm just keep it that way. And just a regular Phillips screwdriver, which I have this one, but I'm gonna dig in here and find my other one. All right, now fast forward mode. All right, so here it is, boom. It's good enough. This is gonna be inside anyway, so. This will be right here. Woo, good already. Now let's do the front. And that's that. And this one will be going on the back right here. Let me bring you over here so you can actually see what's going on. Bam. Maybe I'll have this on top. No, this is open. Have this on top, boom. So I gotta take this off, screw these in, put it back on. Too easy. What do you think? I like it too. All right, let's move on back over here. All right, so I should do the bottom because it would make sense, but I'm gonna do the top because it's supposed to be the easiest. Let me put like a towel or something down here so the paint doesn't scratch. It's the only thing about doing stuff in 
when it stay looking nice is that you gotta look for the small details. All right, so boom, bam. I'm gonna take these little doohickeys and screw them in. But I think I'm gonna use this because it's gonna take me forever to use anything else. So actually, you see some, will these work good on this? Perfect. It doesn't want to come out. A little trick I learned from a school I call Faking School of Being Lazy. So just want to make sure these are on. So I'm going to do this one first. So it's right. Save money. I'm gonna do this one. No, I'm not showing anybody nothing new. Ooh, my battery's about to die. And it's on there, so now when I do the bottom, because it's on two bolts, and I think I'm gonna have this part forward since it's pointing forward. Now the trick is I gotta make sure that these are evenly spaced by eyeballing it. <laughs> And then having this flush with the front. I was like, man, those seats look good. I know, I know. Thank you, thank you. I think my battery's about to die. Voila, ladies and gentlemen, we have seats. I hope I was recording that. Now I'm gonna put this bad boy on there, line it up, throw some bolts in it, which I don't know if I wanna use the same old bolts. They look like they're still be good and they're not really visible, so I don't see why not. I'm gonna have to find the right size. So I'm gonna change this camera around and set y'all up. All right, so it's done for the most part. I do just mount, finish mounting the engine, adjust the, uh, well, I got new, um, the new clutch for it. I ain't gonna use that one. And adjust it so it lines up with the bracket, I mean, with the um, thingy mobile back there, the chain catcher puller thingy. And then I got I gotta put new tires on the front. I might just keep the same tires. Just get new inner tubes for now. Then it'll be ready to go. So, but I do have to kind of rake up the throttle. But that'll be for a later video. So on this one, painted two of the rooms. I should have painted all four of them, but it started raining. And I got the seat done. Looks really good. Like really good. Like that's like pretty good right there. I did have an issue because uh, when I did it before, the bolts were um, screwed in too far apart. So when I tried to put the uh, um, slide into the bracket, it popped out and stripped the uh, wood, so I had to re-screw it. 
So I did that off camera, but yeah. So I didn't paint these because I'm gonna have to um, um, put new inner tubes in them anyway, which I might just run and go get them now. These two are holding up. This one, a boss. This one right here, it's a test to see. It's holding up pretty good. It's bald and cracked, so it's not gonna last long. But this thing's almost done, almost ready to be sold. But I got a question, should I paint this one? Move this out the way. Like I painted this one, cause I like how this turned out. So now I want to actually tear this apart, paint it and put it back together, which it will take nothing to do. But do I really want to do it? If I do, I'll make that one black and white, the opposite of this one, because the wheels are already white, but they're kind of janky. I don't know. I don't know. Y'all let me know what I should do. Let me know down in the comments. Thanks for watching this video. It's a quick video, short. I was going to do more, like I said, but I know y'all hear the thunder in the background. And I really don't want to get electrocuted today, so got to call it a short day. But I want to try to put up content every day because usually I lose content. But don't forget to subscribe. Um, hit that notification bell for upcoming videos. And I enjoy what I do. Oh, also... I will put, be putting this back together because as you can see, there's a wheel there and there's a wheel here. I found some really cheap golf cart wheels that fits on here. So I don't have to take that wheel apart, weld it because it had a little crack in it and then try to make it airtight when boom, it's already done. All I do now is just put it back together. Here's the frame for it. Well, the um, roll cage and the nuts and bolts are somewhere around here. Just oh yeah, I put them away. But I bought new nuts and bolts for, for them, and um, that thing's basically done. All I do is put the wheels on and throw a, a, a motor and a um, belt on it, and then it's done. But I want to clean the um, the um, pulleys on it because they're a little rusty from sitting outside. So I'll probably be riding that for a little bit because. I like how it's set up. It's very durable. It's heavy though, but it's very durable. And I can't ride one with pill. If I ride one with pill, I'll just keep this one, but can't do it. So that's that. But let me know what you think about um, the other one. Will one will launch? I call them one will launches the owls. One will launches. So this is them right here. Should take a picture. Let me do it. Let's see. No, it's not working. I don't know if it worked. But anyway, um, all right, thanks for watching, and I will see y'all tomorrow. Bake Cave out.